Hey, what is going on guys? It's Arya back again. In this video, we're going to talk about the new perk in Black Ops 4 Zombies called Blood Wolf Bite. The description reads, Quickly inflicting a lot of damage spawns a wolf companion that fights alongside the player. For the modifier, enemies killed by the wolf have a chance to drop a small amount of ammo, points, or power. So basically, you have to do a significant amount of damage in about a few seconds in order to spawn Luna. The wolf. Then Luna proceeds to do what other regular good pets do on a daily basis, and that is violently shred undead bloodthirsty cannibals for sport. Aww. There are so many issues with this perk, I don't even know where to begin. After you activate the perk, Luna comes out and she starts killing zombies and she only lasts for 45 seconds and after that, there's a 5 minute cooldown until you can use the perk again. But first, let's talk about the activation requirement. You have to do a significant amount of damage in a short period of time in order to activate the perk. Now the problem with that is, if you're at a certain point in the game when you're capable of doing a lot of damage in a few seconds, you probably don't need Luna to come out and help you anyway. You're either killing zombies with the wonder weapon or you accidentally spawn Luna when you're killing zombies with the specialist and if that's the case your specialist is going to kill a lot of zombies anyway so you don't really need the perk at that time and another issue with Luna is that she's kind of stupid like her AI needs to be reworked and tuned because she will sometimes miss the zombies or she will flat out just sit there and won't do anything. And this is especially the case if you're using the Ragnaroks as your specialist because the Ragnaroks will kind of blast the zombies away and if that's happening to a zombie that Luna is targeting, she will miss that zombie. Or sometimes she'll just stand and look around when she is surrounded by a bunch of zombies. I went into theater mode and when I was watching the gameplay, I can't begin to tell you how many times I saw Luna just standing and staring into the abyss as if she was waiting for a treat or something. It's just ridiculous. Another issue with the way you activate the perk is that you don't really have much control over it, and it's not very clear how much damage you have to do. You just have to start spraying your wonder weapon and hope that Luna shows up. It's not like Brain Rot where you just have to wait 40 seconds and then shoot a zombie and it's activated. It's a little bit more finicky than that, and that's not a good thing. Now let's talk about the second major issue, and that's the duration of the perk. It lasts for 45 seconds, and during those 45 seconds, Luna will kill an average of 6 to 7 zombies, and then she goes away for 5 minutes. So basically, she kills about 7 zombies every 6 minutes. And that's really bad. She does, however, create an explosive field around her when she spawns in, and that can kill a couple of more zombies if she happens to spawn in right in the middle of the horde. And that's a little better, but since you don't have much control over exactly when and where you spawn her in, then you can't really use that as a strategy. So what I'm trying to say is that she's not efficient at killing zombies at all. Another major problem with this perk is the cooldown time. 5 minutes might not seem like a long time, but it is way too long for what this perk actually does. In order to put this in perspective, the initial cooldown time for Dying Wish is 9 minutes, and then I think it goes up to 11 minutes and it continues to gradually increase with each use. And Dying Wish actually saves your life, it gives you a second chance, so it makes sense that it has a cooldown time of 9 minutes. But Blood Wolf Bite kills 7 zombies, so do you see how it's not balanced at all? Another minor issue with this perk, and pretty much all the other perks that have been released post-launch, is the in-game price of the perk. Both Zombie Shell and Ethereal Razor were expensive as hell. 4,000 points for the base perk and 5,500 in the modifier slot. And I never understood why, because they were not bad perks, but they were certainly not worth 5,500 points. They were a little bit more considerate when it comes to Blood Wolf Bite. It is 3,000 points, and in your modifier slot, it is 4,000 points, which is much better, but still, what the hell, Treyarch? How good do you think these perks actually are? 4,000 points? In Black Ops 3, Widow's Wind was 4,000 points, and that perk was fucking awesome. Now let's talk about the modifier. The modifier has some good things to offer, but again, it's still pretty bad for a modifier. So we've already established that Luna kills 7 zombies every 6 minutes. Out of those 7 zombies, 4 or maybe 5 will drop a mini power-up. It can either be bonus points, power drops, or ammo drops. The power drops are fine, it'll fill up your specialist meter just a little bit. The ammo drops are the best thing about the modifier because they give you a full magazine of whatever weapon you have, including the Wonder Weapons. 
So in Alpha Omega, I was playing with the original Pack-a-Punch Dragon Mark II, and this weapon has 42 shots in the magazine. So with each ammo drop, I got 42 shots of the Dragon Mark II, which is pretty good, and it's actually practical and useful. The worst thing about the modifier are the bonus point drops. They give you 10 points each, and that's just cruel, and kind of pointless. No pun intended. I should mention that every time Luna attacks anything, whether it's a boss zombie or a regular zombie, and whether she kills whatever she's attacking or not, if she hits anything, as long as she doesn't miss, you get 70 points, which is a lot less than what you would get if you were to kill the zombies yourself. So the modifier is really not that great. And while getting a few drops of extra ammo might seem like a big deal on paper, you have to think about what you're giving up to have this perk in your modifier slot. You're giving up unlimited sprint. You could have a perk like Winter's Whale, which used to be one of the worst perks in the game, but they buffed it and now it's actually really good. I feel like the people in Treyarch, like Jason Blundell and Craig Houston, are so afraid of anything being too overpowered and breaking the balance of the game that everything is nerfed to shit, and as the result, nothing is interesting. Now, while that statement is a little bit exaggerated, you get the point, right? They don't want anything to be used as a crutch, which is ironic because they removed all the crutch perks, but then they gave you specialists that are very overpowered wonder weapons, essentially, that you can pull out pretty much anytime you're cornered. It's a brain-dead solution to a non-existent problem. In Black Ops 3, at least you had to work for it. To earn your specialist, you had to build it yourself. But in Black Ops 4, everybody has it from the get-go, and sure, you don't have Juggernaug anymore, but who cares? If you get into a corner, just pull out your specialist. It doesn't require any skill to use whatsoever. Even though Juggernaug was a crutch perk, if you ever got trapped, you had to think your way out. Your survival relied on your skills, but now you can just press two buttons and you don't have to worry about anything. So what I'm trying to say is that this perk sucks and it needs to be buffed. But before we talk about how we can make this perk more useful, I'm gonna talk about some good things that this perk has to offer. The problem with Blood Wolf Bite is that it was released alongside Alpha Omega, so naturally more people used it in that map. But Alpha Omega is the worst map for this perk, because Blood Wolf Bite is the most useful against heavy zombies and mini boss zombies. So I did a little testing and custom mutations, I wanted to see how how good Luna is against all the different enemy types in this game, and she is pretty good. The regular zombies along with the enhanced enemies and vermins are all one hit. The destroyer from 9 is 4 hits, the marauder is 3 hits, and the blightfather is 6 hits. Now moving on to Voyage of Despair, the stoker is 5 hits. On Blood of the Dead, Brutus is 10 hits, and I think that's mostly because Luna attacks the body of the warden and not his head and to kill the warden really fast, you have to shoot him in the head. On Dead of the Night, Luna can kill the werewolves in only 3 hits, which is great, and on Ancient Evil, the Giganis is 5 hits, which is pretty good considering how much of a bullet sponge he actually is. The good thing about Luna and her AI is that she will lock onto an enemy and she will keep attacking that one enemy until they're dead. That is, until you move too far away, because Luna will try and stay close to you for the most part. And this is as far as the positives go. Yes, you can stay it with brain rod and there are wholesome moments when the turn zombie and Luna will fight side by side and it's fun to watch but really it's not gonna make that big of a difference in the long run and you would probably be better off using another perk instead. So let's quickly talk about how we can make this perk better. Well, for one thing, I think the activation requirement needs to be changed or tuned. Instead of having to inflict a lot of damage to spawn in Luna, make it a headshot or a melee attack instead, or lower the amount of damage that we have to do to activate the perk. Secondly, I think Luna is very slow at killing zombies. Instead of killing 7 zombies in a 45 second window, she needs to kill at least 10. Also, she shouldn't be out for only 45 seconds. She needs to be out for at least 1 minute, and if we're gonna make it 1 minute, 
it, then she needs to kill at least 12 to 15 zombies while she's out. The cooldown time for this perk is way too long. Instead of 5 minutes, it needs to be 3 minutes at most. This is the first thing that they have to change if they ever decide to buff this perk. The cooldown time is just way too long and it's just not worth it. Luna's AI needs to be tuned. She needs to be a lot quicker at finding and attacking targets. Also, when she kills zombies, the player should get at least 100 points instead of 70. The in-game price of the perk is fine if they buff the perk. If not, they need to lower it to 2500 points for the base perk and 3000 points for the modifier. I think that would be reasonable. For the modifier, the power drops and ammo drops are fine, but the bonus points drops need to be buffed. They need to give you at least 50 points with each one, and that would still be quite stingy. Also, let's make it so that every single kill by Luna gives you a mini power-up instead of every now and then. And I know there are a lot more ways you can adjust and buff this perk, but this is how I would do it. That is gonna do it for today's video. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of Blood Wolf Bite. Is it okay the way it is now, or does it need a buff? I would love to know what you think. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.